have a scapegoat, you know, they won't realize. It's like, oh, I'm Okay, so the company's name is uh, Link NYC, right? They got a new kiosk changing all the payphone. Now that kiosk, my opinion, is beautiful. It's replacing payphones with stations that can charge your phone, have Wi-Fi that has one gigabyte per second, and they're free. The first time I saw the Link NYC kiosk, I was somewhat fascinated and intrigued. It's, uh, I, I like technology and I'm often excited when, when innovation is happening around me in the city. So here at the links, the obelisks. On the well, this summer I attended the Hackers on Planet Earth conference right, down in New York and saw an incredible this presentation by a researcher and a lawyer from the NYCLU uh, that looked at the, at the Link NYC project and raised a number of issues that I was unaware of. The more research we did, the more we learned about the Link NYC program is actually masquerading as free Wi-Fi. Um, and in fact, it's a, it's a way to uh, capture a great deal of citizen data. Um, and they're monetizing it and centralizing it. Oh my God. Myself and, and my co-organizer decided that we wanted to take some action. One of our first public actions, um, we're having uh, a street theater performance. A living kiosk, you know, um, encounters a, a hip young couple um, and attempts to seduce them to using uh, his data. I got Wi-Fi and you can charge your phone and it's free. Really? My phone needs a charge. Well, I do need to download something for a meeting. Wonderful. Get on over here. The kiosks are actually uh, run and operated by a corporation called City Bridge, which is a consortium of corporations uh, whose leading control uh, is Alphabet, which is now the parent company of Google. Everybody loves Google. Free wireless communication for everybody. They paid the city 500 million to replace those old telephone booths. This is one network that's under corporate control and has a gigantic amount of data about us no matter where we go in the city. For me, as a Brooklyn resident, I kind of see Brooklyn as a safe haven to all the chaos that happens in Manhattan. And so seeing that um, in my neighborhood, um, in a location that isn't a destination spot, was definitely a red flag. Lady, don't worry. It's to help you. We got to know about you. We got to know what you want. We got to know what you need. So we know you better than you know you. So we can help you. What's this? It's a billion dollar industry. Everybody's doing it. I think New Yorkers just feel like it's free Wi-Fi and a lot of them have no idea that these things have cameras and are tracking them. You were smoking Marlboros back in Times Square. Lucky you. There's a sale on the next block. I haven't smoked in months. Marlboros? Really? Wait, wait, wait. How does Lincoln Dink here know that about you and I don't? Because, ladies and gents, there are 500 of me, and we are all connected. Even if you've never logged in to this system, if you have a phone that has the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth on, they're monitoring you, they're tracking you, they're taking information about you, and then they're turning around and selling it. I don't want my business popping up on public kiosks. Lady, your business already pops up everywhere but I still don't like it because it's invasive. At best case, they're gonna try and sell me a pair of shoes. Worst case, it's gonna be an invasion of privacy, looking at my political views or my opinions when I don't really care to share them. You know, it's my own business. We're gonna rethink Link NYC. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it looks like we're not the only ones. Yeah, that's, that's your precision. Sorry? Okay, 